but it does mean there is a, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, oh, but that like, rainbow could be broken. <laughs> you know, you have to climb like high. You're yes. like, scared of high. There's a lot to overcome, 100. but there's a positive ending. 100, man. I'm getting the messages in my DMs yeah. right now. As soon as every guest is like, why didn't you call me when you were with so-and-so? I was like, where was you 12 months ago when I had two subscribers? You know what exactly. I mean? But, but now you've hit a little bit of success. They're like, hey, we're here. Of and it's course, like, of course. but you find out who was real and who mm -hmm. was next to you and who. And who, you know what? For me, I, I don't even hold anybody. I don't hold anybody like against any that against anybody because sometimes people just don't see your vision. Yeah. And if True. they don't see it and they, all their fears, the natural fears kick in and so on. And I'm talking even today for myself, people that care about me the most will still come up to me and go, oh, Michael, man, you shouldn't fight with your hands down, man. No, <laughs> that's their fear, though. Yeah. This is me, you know, 20 plus fights deep. Yeah. Yeah. Never have my hands up <laughs> beating everybody and their, their fear. And it's yeah. more a case of them putting themselves in your position and what they would do yes. and because they yes. care about you this yes. is what i would have done to protect myself so you should do it yeah but that's your fear put passed on to me yes but if you're actually looking at it properly and if you could if you actually had the lens at the time you would see that no this is actually better for him but not everybody will see it at the time well being that we're, we're talking about your style right now mm -hmm. your style is very different mm -hmm. and i've got friends who have mma fighters and they have striking coach grappling coach a physio now, some of these coaches are very set in their ways how they want you to be and if you go a little bit off they have a real problem with that yeah yeah how do you deal with that because you've got such a different style you're you're you know i was fortunate so my style does come from somewhere it's like i said it's the lago kung fu traditionally but there is a sport called freestyle kickboxing very similar to taekwondo if you was watching it you know there's people scoring points and stuff so it's, it's more the speed element of kickboxing than it is the power element of kickboxing people are more drawn to the power element just because you know they want to see blood we've, we've got that fixated thing in us we just want to see you know people just go to war but this side is more done on the speed element side this is why not a lot of people kind of has seen our style but i've done that for 20 plus years before i got into mixed martial arts and as you say it's like i have to find the right coach because all this time I've been spoiled in the sense that it was my dad that was my coach. Okay. So it's like, okay, I need to find someone that I can connect with in that, in that kind of way. And is okay with me still utilizing my style because I, I would never have been able to do it any other way. It had right. to have been my way. And Which is getting you to number one at the moment. Of so. course, yeah, no, so, definitely. So, so you knew it worked, but yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's funny you say that, I didn't, but okay. I'll get back to that. Okay. <laughs>